The eldest oyster looked at him, but never a word he said. The eldest oyster winked his eye and shook his heavy head, meaning to say he did not choose to leave the oyster bed. But four young oysters hurried up, all eager for the treat. Their coats were brushed, their faces washed, their shoes were clean and neat. And this was odd because, you know, they hadn't any feet. Four other oysters followed them, and yet another four. And thick and fast they came at last, and more and more and more, all hopping through the frothy waves and scrambling to the shore. The walrus and the carpenter walked on a mile or so, and then they rested on a rock, conveniently low. And all the little oysters stood and waited in a row. That is Lewis Carroll's Walrus and the Carpenter uh, from Alice Through the Looking Glass. And it is a snippet from the poem uh, that I have adored and loved ever since I was a child. My 29-year-old son will tell you that (laughs) because I was obsessed with it. I've always loved it. And I didn't realize until recently why. So I wanted to share it with you today, just that little piece of it, because it's it's much longer in its entirety. And of course, it ends with them, you know, eating all the oysters. I thought it was very poignant because in my life, and especially recently, I've realized sometimes how people see me as a leader, but yet I'm really a follower. And I become feeling insecure about myself, which is something that is happening to a lot of people because of social media, especially as you get older and you start, you know, going through all of these changes and, you know, blah, 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 what's my purpose? Where am I going? What am I doing? Uh, You start to follow when you really should be leading. And so it just symbolizes to me that, um, you know, the oysters, they were following the walrus and the carpenter. The one elder oyster was the one that was wise and knew that he wasn't going to follow them because he knew the road that they were taking them down. The walrus and the carpenter just wanted to tire out those little stupid oysters so they could just eat them and fill their bellies and feel good about themselves. They didn't really care at all about the oysters. And I don't even know if they had any respect for the elder oyster that sat fat and happy. So the next time you start to feel sorry or bad about yourself because you're following other people, what is it that they're manipulating in you that makes you feel as though you need to follow them and feel bad about yourself? So you can what? Get eaten alive. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. And also, I'd love to know what your favorite childhood poem is, as long as it's not a nursery school rhyme. You know, one that kind of plays into your life today. You can leave me a message on my website, wendycooper.com. And you can also now get this podcast on Amazon on your Echo device by just asking, you know who, Alexa. See you tomorrow.